Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. PDQ we got another zero day exploit that's out there we probably should take a look at as it involves the print spooler, which unless you're paperless and you have that disabled, it puts you at a bit of risk. Uh, what this one does, it allows remote code execution against a print spooler service where they can do a lot of damage to your network. Uh, unfortunately for this one, there is no current fix for that, but you can do a workaround and it's probably best to, I'd say, disable the print service for a couple of days and lose printing over leaving your network exposed to that kind of threat. Uh, so to do that, we're just gonna use PowerShell, just kind of show uh, what we got going on there. And the first thing you wanna do is we wanna do uh, git dash service. And the name of that one is just spooler. We're gonna run that one. You can see ours has already stopped. This machine is safe, but if it's not stopped, then what you wanna do is you're gonna take that same thing of git service and you're gonna pipe that into stop dash service. And that's gonna stop it temporarily, but it's, it's not going to stop it from coming back on. So if the startup type is set to automatic, which I believe by default it is, uh, you're gonna to wanna to go in and make that so it stays off. So you're gonna do that one set dash service, it's the same set of service commands. And you're gonna do startup type and set that to disabled. And then once again, mention spooler is that's the one you were trying to do. Run that and that makes it so the service is just off and it's gonna stay off. Uh, this works on the independent machine, but not for your entire network. So if you wanna get everyone protected, you got a couple of options. Uh, the first one is to use group policy. You won't even need the PowerShell for that. There's a GPO in there that will let you disable that service, keep you protected that way. And then when it comes time to turn it back on, you can just flip that GPO and you're good to go. If you can't use group policy for any reason, uh, I'd recommend PDQ deploy an inventory. I'm, I'm a big fan of the products, but that, that'll let you use this PowerShell here where you can send it out to every machine where it will do the get the service, stop it and, and uh, disable it. And then once you get a full fix, you send that out there, you can just sw swap it around and set the startup type to automatic and start the service and everyone's good to go. It should take about, I don't know, just a couple of minutes and your entire environment should be safe. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.